Hey there, Cam here from Training Talk. I've been thinking a lot about what's happening uh, with coronavirus, COVID-19 at the moment um, in our communities, but also uh, with our, specifically with our businesses. So I've been thinking about how it affects my business, Training Talk, uh, and you might have got the email that I sent out about some tips to, to communicate with your athletes around that, but a lot of change since then. So um, I've been thinking a lot about how I can help uh, my clients. But before I can do that, I'm just take, taking a few notes about what I can do in my own business um, to protect myself and to make sure we get through it okay and then we come out the end um, in a better situation than we're in now. So the important thing to remember, I think, is at the moment everyone's uh, not sure what to do. So I'm thinking, what are some things that you know uh, you should do in your business that you don't really need to think about, oh, is this a good move or, or, or not? So um, I have this feeling of... Um, maybe inertia is that the right word, where I can't, I'm not quite ready to keep moving. And I think if you look around about the place and you see what people are doing in the business, most most people are just waiting to see what happens. But I think there's plenty of things you can, positive things that you can do in your business in the meantime. So the concept I'm thinking about is what is the best version of my business? Um, so there's going to be lots of businesses in various states at the moment. Some of them are not going to make it uh, through this process um, and will fold. Others will make it but might struggle, you know, and then some might even uh, thrive. So um, I'm thinking about what's the best version of my business? And it doesn't, and that's not the same as what's the biggest version of my business. Because if you look at the businesses that are already starting to fail, it's some of the biggest ones. So you'd think that they would have cash reserves or something, but they're so reliant on their revenue to pay um, their employees and all of these expenses that they'll have, that it's some of the biggest businesses that will fold first. So for me, it's like, what's the best version of my business? Not the biggest, not the most cost effective, not the cheapest, it's the best. So, so you know, that'll mean different things for different people. But anyway, so in these quiet times, like um, I'm not having a whole lot of new coaches signing up at the moment. So as much as I've got to support all my existing coaches, uh, I don't have that same burden on helping all my new coaches come on board because I think they're in the same boat. If you're a new coach or you're at a coach using a, a, an existing platform, you're not really making those sorts of decisions at the moment. Um, so I've got some downtime, so I'm just thinking, what am I going to do with that to make the best version of my business? So uh, I've got some notes here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some actions um, and not just wait to see what happens. Uh, and I'm going to list all of the things that I'm not happy with in my business, so that doesn't mean they're specifically related to what's happening in the moment, but all of the things that I've got in the back of my mind that I know that I'm not happy about in my business, I'm going to write a big list of those, and then I'm going to prioritise those both based on what will have the most impact on becoming the best version my business can be. Um, and then I'm going to list some attributes about my business that are positive in terms of coronavirus. So things like, we're fully remote. Um, the software allows people to, to coach people online and doesn't require any person in any in-person coaching. So I'm gonna write down all of those positive things around, about my business that uh, are beneficial in these times. And then um, if I can improve those or add on those, uh, then I will. And then I'm going to uh, write down a list of my biggest assets in my business. So, oh, by the way, I think you should do all of this as well. This this is the point of the video that this is for my business and it's different to running a triathlon coaching or endurance coaching business. But I think these were also important for you to do. So, uh, what are the biggest assets of my business and how can I protect them during these times? So, number one, uh, partly why I'm doing this video, is my biggest asset is uh, all of the coaches who use my system. And that's my biggest asset by far. Next one is the system itself. But the system itself is safe in this um, in these environments. Uh, so really, that's the purpose of this video, to start to try and help my coaches get through this um, challenging time and to build the best version of their of the best version of your your business. So what I'm doing for that is so so now I've written down what are my biggest assets. It's like what can I do to protect those. So for me, it's I'm going to give you as much help as I can during this period. So every day uh, for the next 30 days, 
I'll be giving you a tip by video or blog or something to help you protect, uh, grow or, or improve your business so it can get closer to being the best version of your business possible, same as what I'm trying to do uh, with my business. So uh, that's it for now. So I'm going to go through this for myself first because I, you know, you, I'm going to need to look after my business first so then I can help you look after your business with the software and with some of my tips. So look out for those tips coming over the next 30 days uh, and then we'll see how things play out. Things are changing pretty quickly at the moment, so uh, who knows what will happen. Anyway, um, about to say goodbye. This is Frankie again. So thanks very much for listening and um, I'll put a link in case you're not already subscribed to my email list that you can go and subscribe to that uh, because these will all go out on social but they'll also all go out um, via uh, email. Maybe not every day but maybe I might summarize them uh, each week. So anyway, like I said, thanks for listening and I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.